Thinking about buying a franchise? Then the How to Buy a Franchise show is just for you. Here's your host, Dr. John Hayes. Hi, I'm John Hayes with the How to Buy a Franchise show. Welcome. And my guest is Danny Park with RoboThink, a relatively new franchise? Yes, we've started in uh, 2016, so very new. All right, how many franchises do you have at this point? Uh, we currently have eight locations. Eight locations, and uh, I see you brought some toys with you. Yeah. Yeah, so what, what, what goes on here? Let me show you a little bit. So uh, let me give you a little bit of background on what we do. Uh, we are a, a STEM education franchise, so STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and math, and it's kind of a new wave of education that's happening in America and across the world. So we're preparing, we're preparing students how to uh, code on a computer. We're preparing them how to you know, think like a computer and you know, uh, learn about robotics, which is kind of what this century is all about, you know, automation and everything. So. Um, what we do is we manufacture these robotics kits, and it's designed to have younger students, you know, typically kin kindergarten to around sixth grade, and they can get into, you know, learning about sensors and motors and building robotics of all kinds and shapes and functions without learning, you know, how to soldering the hard stuff, you know, make, learning how to connect these little itsy bitsy pieces yeah. together. Um, and do they do this at uh, parties, or are they are they a uh, regular classroom environment, or how how is this done? Yeah, so um, it's actually both. So we the programs are really flexible. So we run them as you know winter and summer camps. We also run them as workshops, uh, one day events, and we also run them in classroom settings in partnership with schools. So our franchisees contact local schools and uh, park districts and libraries, and they run the programs there. Um, and you know, for our retail-based franchises, we also have special birthday parties. So you know, they students can come in. They have robot-themed birthday parties where they you know have battle bots with their friends. So it's a lot of fun. Okay. So it, what's the typical investment if I want to become a franchisee in Dallas? Let's say. Perfect. So we have actually two models of uh, business. So one is a home-based location where you would actually just hire teachers and the teachers would go out to these third party locations as we like to call it. So these would be the schools and the libraries and the park districts. So you don't it's not really necessary to have a retail storefront. Okay. But you know if you want to invest a little more into maybe having some more flexibility with your own scheduling or your programs, then you can uh, invest in a retail based location. So a retail based location you're typically looking at between sixty four to one hundred twenty thousand okay. dollars investment with uh, three months working capital. And for a home-based location, you're looking at between forty to sixty thousand okay. dollars. So it's a very low entry, you know, low investment, high mm -hmm. return style of business. And your franchisees, what uh, kind of background have they had? Where do sure. they come from? Sure. So we actually have franchisees from all sorts of background. Actually, our most successful franchisee is uh, one with hotel chain management. So it's not really necessary that you know about you know technology and you know all about the science. You don't have to play with Legos. No, to like you the don't. Business. So uh, we have a training program, and our philosophy is that you know if a kid can do it, then an adult can learn how to do it. So we have a, a very simple training program and um, a corresponding curriculum. So students and teachers can all learn about you know how to do the classes okay. without actually just you know being majors or anything you know, specialized. And so field. when the students get together in a classroom setting or a party, do they build the robot or they build they use the Legos to, to build some kind of a machine that is also mechanical? It, does this one move in some way? It has, yes. It so, has wheels? And yeah, so this would be kind of our mid-level role model. So here is um, our uh, software called Rowcode. And it's designed for students, really young students, to learn about programming. So here we teach them about sequencing. And um, our software engineers, you know, really emphasize ease of use. So, you know, if you notice the multicolored icons and big chunky icons, everything's drag and drop. So here's a little remote control. So this model is connected to this tablet. So I can... Uh, I see. All there right. You go. Okay, good. Yeah. And, um, you know, I can also automate it. I think it might fall off the table here. Yeah. But uh, well, how about the robot? Does the robot move? Oh, through? of course. Yeah. yeah. So this is actually um, just a fun little thing we have at birthday parties. So I'll give him a little. Dance and do you here. build the robot, or is it already built? So these are already built, but these are for advanced students that are learning about humanoid robots. Okay. So and will he talk to us? Does yeah. he listen? Or no, but he does a do really fun command. dance. Ready? <laughs> All right. There we go. All right, great. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So we don't usually have uh, entertainment on the How to Buy a Franchise show, but today we do. Yeah. So this is what he does. It's dancing yeah, uh, so mostly. But one of our students, um, our middle school students, actually programmed all the dance moves okay. along with the... Um, so that's what students can program the exactly. robot to, to move. Exactly. Okay, great. Yeah. So 
Yeah, well, that's It'll good. Give him a little rest here. He's yeah, give him a rest. Too and, many moves. <laughs> and so, uh, what's the um, 40, 49 to sixty thousand for a home base? Forty to oh yeah, forty thousand to around forty thousand. Yeah. Okay, so is it on the high side or is that where's all that going? How much are you taking for a franchise fee? Sure. How much is uh, is capital for marketing? Maybe do sure. I have to go buy logo uh, Legos or sure? So. Our franchise fee is twenty five thousand dollars. Okay. Um, but with that, it includes a lot of our, you know, the, our proprietary materials, our curriculum, our software. Not only that, but all the business management software. So we have a proprietary uh, ERP system called ThinkLink, and it makes it easy for parents to kind of schedule and find out about classes online. And from a franchisee perspective, it's really easy for them to, you know, hey, I think I want to run a winter camp. So let me just, you know put up the settings for a winter camp and okay. automatically syncs with the website so parents can make a purchase and schedule and everything's all done so that you know you don't waste time and if I want to put my uh, son or daughter in a class or in a uh, in a camp what's that going to cost me so typically um, uh, we run uh, uh, winter and summer camps are the most popular for us so uh, it's typically five days long for each camp session and the camps are usually between two to four hours long, and you're looking at between 100 to $250 okay. per session. Two to session. four hours long per day? Per or? day, okay. yeah. And do you hire um, an engineering student or, uh, or a math student to, to teach the classes, or do franchisees teach the classes? So the franchisees can themselves teach their classes, but obviously a lot of our franchisees have multiple programs running at different schools and different park districts, so they need to hire traveling teachers. But the traveling teachers, they don't really need to be, again, specialized in any of the uh, you know, science or the computer coding because our programs are so simple. simple to use, and then our curriculum makes it easy for students to self-learn and self-study. Yeah. So if I buy uh, the home-based business and I invest $60,000, mm -hmm. how long is it going to take for me to recover my investment? Is sure. It, uh, so it kind of always depends on obviously the market conditions. You know, um, we're typically looking for more affluent areas where parents have you know discretionary income to spend on uh, third-party yeah. locations, uh, programs like this. But um, typically within, uh, I'd say around four to six months, we've seen uh, is an ROI typical of our uh, type style of business. Okay, very good. So what's the number one challenge that franchisees face? Uh, currently for us is. Um, marketing so a lot of parents are very interested in these type of programs but they don't know where to go so they know that computer coding and you know these engineering programs are really important for their kids in you know this day and age but uh, you know if you mention it to them they have a very surface level knowledge and they don't really know who to go to or what to take care of the kids to so trying to explain that to parents you know uh, the differences between all these different programs and you know why what makes our program unique is something that our franchisees uh, face but typically when parents come through and they see the programs they kids see their kids learning you know they're excited you know they're they not like playing that. video games they're coding and learning real life so stuff. marketing yeah. through social media are you doing that is yes that, is that very where important the yeah. hot spot or is it exactly not that? Is it so our target parents you know um, they're in their 30s and you know uh, late 20s and they're uh, very online presence based right. so they, they they themselves understand how important it is so we uh, target very heavily especially to moms groups uh, yeah. who typically make the decisions on where to spend the household budget on education uh, mom and me uh, community calendar groups it's a very okay. community based business and word so gets around pretty fast if the yeah. if the students like this then yeah. it's going to get around yeah, pretty fast yeah it's a, it's a, it's it's good for the parents because the kids are you know learning something yeah. but it's good for the kids because you know, they're learning something, but it's something that they want to do. You know, unlike math or English programs, just like, ah, okay, we'll go to it. But it's like, wow, robotics, you know, got, I got to battle my friend yesterday. I destroyed him. Yeah. yeah so stuff like so that. So have a good yeah. time. <laughs> well, I'm John Hayes, and I'm with the HowToBuyFranchise.com, and I'm host of the How to Buy Franchise show. Danny Park of RoboThink has been my guest, telling us about a, a new, relatively new franchise and a relatively inexpensive franchise, and you may have an interest. Hope you do. Thank you for listening to How to Buy a Franchise Show. If you want immediate assistance, visit howtobuyafranchise.com to contact Dr. John Hayes for a free consultation.